3D printers in general really struggle to create a smooth top layer surface, and that's no different from my Bamboo Labs P1S. So today we're going to take a few different rough curved surfaces like this and smooth it out so you get a much cleaner print every time. Using Bamboo Studio, we're going to be talking about the variable layer height feature. Jumping over to Bamboo Studio, we're going to be doing some tests on three different objects. We've got a ball, a little uh, rounded dome, and then a greeble from R2D2 which has a rounded edge and it's it's got a thin wall on it. So I want to do uh, show that these can be adjusted not only on just rounded surfaces like a ball, but also in uh, hard edge surfaces as well. So before we get started, let's jump over to the printer settings um, and then go over to the extruder tab. So for a nozzle diameter of 0.4, you're going to have layer height limits. And those limits are going to be set by Bamboo Lab and that's going to be their laboratory tested uh, limits and it's going to be a minimum of 0 0.08 to a maximum of a 0.28. Um, these can be adjusted once you uh, swap out the nozzle diameter because they have different sizes. So now that you know what your your minimum and your maximum can be, then we can go over to the next step. But real quick, before we move forward, I wanted to give you my own explanation of what variable layer height is. I made this quick little graphic to give you a representation of what I'm trying to explain. Variable layer height in 3D printing is a feature that allows for changes in the thickness of layers of plastic or materials that are being laid down during the printing process. So let's imagine we're stacking a pile of pancakes to make a tower. Each pancake represents a layer in 3D printing. So with variable layer heights, you can choose to have some thicker pancakes and some thinner ones within the same object. This means you can have some thicker layers and less detailed areas and faster printing and, and thinner layers where you want to have more detail and a smoother surface. It's like being able to have both fast cooking and gourmet presentation in one meal. By adjusting the layer height according to the need of the object being printed, you can save on time and material while still achieving high quality results. So the feature that we're going to be using today is going to be the variable layer height. And the way that you activate it is by selecting your object first and by selecting variable layer height here at the top. Once you click on it, there's going to be an option panel that opens up and you've got a couple different options. You've got these two triangles here that you can slide back and forth to adjust your settings. For this ball, what we want to do is achieve the highest quality and a smoother surface. So we're going to select our triangle here and you can just slide them back to the uh, left and to the right. Moving it to the right is going to increase your layer height and moving it to the left is going to uh, decrease and lower your layer height. So we're going to push it all the way to the left and then we're going to hit this button here that says adaptive. Once you hit adaptive, it's going to change the color on the object and you can see that you've got a dark green here, which is going to be your lowest layer height all the way up to the orange, which is the highest layer height. Once you hit the adaptive button, your object's going to change colors. You've got your lower layer heights here in the dark green all the way to your highest layer heights uh, in the orange over here at the bottom. The next option is going to be your smoothing feature. And the way that this works is if you slide this over to the very far right and you hit smooth, I'm not going to hit it yet, but if you hit smooth, what it's going to do is it's going to make a transition from your higher layer heights to your lower layer heights. So once I hit the smooth button here, you're going to see that the larger layer heights in the dark orange have changed to a lighter gray. And it's now smooth the uh, transition from a higher layer height to a lower layer height. Now moving on to our second object over here, the dome is going to be the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our adaptive to quality and we're going to hit the adaptive button. And now we have a dark green at the top and a nice smooth transition all the way to the edge. Now for our third object, our hard edge surface over here, we can see right when we select the object, there's going to be some major stepping going on. So what we want to do is smooth that out. And we can achieve that the same way by selecting the quality all the way on the left and hitting adaptive. Now it's got a much smoother surface all the way to the tip top center of this object because it does have a rounded surface top edge here. Once your objects are sliced, there's one more feature I wanted to bring up. Over here in the uh, color scheme panel, you can change it from line type to layer height. And once you do that, you can see a visualization of transition from the lower layer heights all the way down to the higher layer heights. And what has happened is now your print is going to end up being from a 0.26 layer height all the way down to a 0.08 layer height um, at the top where it's going to be more smooth. Before we hit print, I wanted to show you something. If we go back to line type, you can see that our print times are going to be a little bit different. I know that for me, adding a little bit more print time and achieving a higher quality print is much more desirable. 
After completing both print tests, I noticed that the glossy filament that I ended up using was going to be difficult to get a clear photo of the layer line. So what I ended up doing was taking some black flat spray paint and uh, painted both of the objects so that it would extenuate the uh, lines a lot better and you could see it more clearly. So that's what I did here. I also wanted to mention that the line going down the side of the model was also part of the model itself and not the print. Uh, so that was not from the printing itself. Here is also some video footage of both before and after of all three objects. It's just not as easy or clear to see with a video compared to a photo. All right, well, this concludes our Bamboo Studio variable layer height tutorial. I tried to be as thorough as I possibly could. If you found this video informative, please smash the like button and subscribe. There's going to be tons more content being produced, and I will see you next time.